Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. What we're going to do today with the graphics is to to paint a string. Now, the string, what we can do is we can just uh, use the draw string and it will just draw a string as if it's just like typing in text on a word processor, but that's not what's happening, it's actually painting it. Um, but then I'll show you how to change the, the font and the size and make it italic or bold and things like that and so but what you've got to remember is this is the, the paint method and it's going to be painted on and so that's what we're going to show you in this tutorial and so again it's g dot draw string And let's put that, I'll do it again. So string, yes, constructor. Yeah, and so this here is a string, and so we can make a variable string and put the name of the variable in here, or just to show you and make it that you can actually see it straight away what's happening. Just put a string in, two double quotes, and whatever. Um, you type in here is going to be painted to a screen. So okay, that's going to be pain. X is the X coordinate, so we'll go 150 and then wide 100 down and semicolon end of command. So this is us going to draw a string called paint this onto the frame. And that's paint this. Right, now what we're going to do now is we're going to change this. We're going to change it to to bold, um, size 14 and Arial. So that's a font. And so how we do this, just before we paint this, we change the font. So it's G dot set font. And you can see the argument it takes here is a font. So we're going to create a new font, font, and the font is going to have its own constructor, which we you can see here the font constructors down here. Um, get font. No, it's not showing you that. Um, get font. Yeah. Well, anyway, this font is going to have its own constructors, and that's what we'll show you. So we're going to go font. And then inside here we're going to go in new font brackets and inside here we're going to have a string with the name of the the type of text font we're going to use and we're going to use Arial because I know that um, Java supports Arial. And semicolon for the next command and the next command is to say if it's bold um, italics etc and so what we'll do is the font dot bold you can see bold you can see center baseline italic and you can see down mono spaced plain serif Sharif, true types, all the different types of text, and so, so what we're going to do is bold, and after this we're going to give the size, and so we're going to go 14, and end the command with a semicolon. Now the reason why this is highlighted is because up here we've got to have font, and we've got font up here so that's okay so what's wrong here so this is the font string int float string int int attribute string int float boolean Yeah. OK, 
Okay, what I've got here is the end of the brackets for fro the, the, the font is here, not after bold, and that's why we had this highlighted. Um, 14 was outside the font, and so that's the three, the three arguments as passed to this font constructor area font dot bold and size 14. So if we run the program now, you can see it's bold and it's bigger. And that's Arial type. And what we'll do is we'll make it bigger again, we'll go 34. And you can see it's bigger. So that's that's a um, draw string in, in Java graphics. So again, thank you for your time and I hope that's been useful.